what I like best about living in the quiet zone, and it uh, kind of tells the whole story, the quietness. Some people that come here, they'll say, uh, what do you do? Well, I'll just say, I'm doing it right now, you know? I, and I said, just listen to nature all around you. Green Bank, West Virginia is a very unique place. I find it ironic sometimes that, you know, we were working with technology here that's world class, it's world leading, but yet no one here has a cell phone. So a radio telescope works just like an optical telescope in that if you build it or have it in an area where there's a lot of radio noise, the signals you're trying to look for would be obliterated by that radio noise in the same way you can't see the Milky Way in downtown New York City. A cell phone on Mars would be the brightest radio object to us in the sky. In order to protect the radio atmosphere in this area, Congress created the National Radio Quiet Zone and that's an area that's 13,000 square miles. There's actually a long list of modern conveniences that we can't utilize here and that generally shouldn't be utilized in the community. Gasoline engines cause a problem. We only use diesels on site. Wi-Fi modems, cordless telephones, no cellular phones, the automatic door opener at the local store, no digital cameras. Biggie, come here. Biggie, come up here. Iggy, hey. When you go and you tell people stuff like that, they can't believe it and they're just like, what? Like I called my college roommate and she's like, well, just give me your number and I'll text you. And if she doesn't have an iPhone and we can't do iMessage, I was like, well, we can't text because I don't have service and they, they don't understand. They're just like, how do you live without your phone? Like, what do you do? I mean, it's different. Like if you don't go from one house to another house with Wi-Fi, you're, you don't have any way to contact other people, which is odd. I really enjoy it because it's quiet, it's peaceful, it's beautiful. Uh, all these uh, electronic technician things that these kids are sitting and pushing buttons on don't happen here. <laughs> the only way you can do that is at home. It would be very difficult to create a radio quiet zone these days because in order to create it you would have to walk into an area and take things away from people. But living here, people have grown up without it and they've built their homes and they've built everything around the idea that they will be wired, they won't have wireless systems. So it's much easier to maintain a, a setup like this than it would be to create a new setup. <laughs>